Thank you, Roger. Well, for the third year in a row, the Brunswick football team is in the regional championship game. And one of the reasons for this success is the play of the linemen. And sports director Travis Lee joins us now with the story of one of those linemen and what he has overcome in order to play the game. Travis? Yeah, guys, Logan Willett's mother had an intuition that there was something amiss with her infant son's hearing. She took him to 10 doctors before one was able to discover he had hearing impairments in both ears. Willett began wearing hearing aids when he was four years old, began playing football soon after, and has become a force on the line for the Dragons. 99 slant. Football is a game of sound. But to Logan Moulet, without hearing aids, the game sounds much different. His hearing aids help Moulet be a part of a talented Brunswick line. Without them, he only has 30% hearing. Everyone's done really well. I mean, the coaches, the players, they really adapted to my hearing aids. They all made sure. Uh, I hear something, and if they think I didn't hear something, if they thought someone was quiet or something, they would make sure I'd hear it. Willett's ability to overcome his impairment impresses his teammates. I wouldn't know what he has to go through, but he doesn't miss a beat, I'll tell you that. What kind of player is he? Awesome player. He'll do the extra every single time, hit his block every single time. As a sophomore, Willett's talent emerged in preseason, but his coach had concerns about a lineman who might not hear the snap count. But he had a solution. I made him a center. <laughs> yeah, put him right at the center. I, I was worried about it at first, so I figured, you know, where, where am I going to be able to put this kid where he can hear the signals and the, and the snap count? But, and it wasn't a problem this sophomore year. He started for me as a, as a uh, center. Uh, and last year, we moved him to tackle, and I thought that the quarterback would have to kind of turn his head when he, when he gave the cadence. But his hearing's pretty good. It's, it's a lot better than. What do you think? Well, Wed is a captain this year, and his coach says he hasn't jumped off sides once this year. And his family is proud of the standard he's set for others. He's become a role model to a few other kids. There's another child that is hearing impaired, and, and he looks up to Logan and sees what he's accomplished. Um, he's, you know, with everything that he's had to, that's worked against him sometimes in life, he's plugged through. Well, well, let's hearing aids make a difference. It's a violent sport. And there have been times when he's had to play without them. A little bit of burden sometimes. If I make a hit or something, they will definitely fall out. And so I've quite a few games I've lost them in the middle of the game and had to wait till after the game or just out of luck find them right there. But uh, I had to wait till after the game. Luckily, they've never been stepped on. <laughs> and he says they've always found them. And never mind his impairment. For Willette, football seems to be his destiny. His father and grandfather both played football at Brunswick High School.